Hi, Year 13s. Um, it, it's, a, it's a real shame that I'm not with you now and I, I'm being able to have this conversation with you in, in person. Um, but as you're all well aware, there's been some big changes uh, that have been called yesterday and will continue to be. And I just want to take this moment to just have a word with you, put your minds at rest, not give you any answers because there really aren't any answers, uh, but just prepare you for the next few weeks in the best possible way. So, look, first of all, I, I apologise although I can't apologise for you know, the impact of coronavirus and what it's having on you. But I guess I can apologise for where you're feeling at the moment. Uh, your mind's probably in a bit of a spin, you're a bit of a limbo. Um, and this is going to have an impact on you, I've got no doubt. And I, and I apologise for that and hope that we as a school and as a mentor team, as subject teachers, we can really put your mind at rest so over the next few weeks that you know, things are going to be fair uh, and, and, and right for you. I want to first of all just uh, share a letter with you that I received earlier today. Um, so bear with me as I bring that onto the screen. Here's that letter and it's from AQA. It says, Dear colleague, I hope this message finds you well at a very challenging time. First of all, they recognise that this is challenging for, for you. They recognise it's challenging for me. They recognise it's challenging for themselves. The second paragraph goes on to say, I'm sure you've all heard the announcement that it won't be possible for all exams to go ahead as normal this summer and that the government will work with off-call and exam boards on alternative arrangements. I know that you'll want to hear what this means. I'll tell you what I'd like to know as well. But it goes on to say, we don't ourselves have any more detail to provide you at this stage. But I promise you that we'll keep you updated as soon as we know more. When they know more, they'll tell us. When we know what they know, then we'll tell you. That, that is a promise that they make to us and I make to you. But, you know, we can't knock them at the moment. This only came out, the cancellation of exams only came out 8 o'clock last night. So let's give it some time for them to give us an idea of what there is um, that's going to be testing us or making sure that the teacher assessments that we're putting forward are correct and accurate. Like you, we want to make sure that your students who are studying for AQA qualifications receive grades they deserve. And that is absolutely crucial to understand. That is a good thing because you guys have been working incredibly hard since we got back from the summer. You've had two heavy sets of mocks and there's good progress noted by the vast majority of the subjects taken on how you're going about those things. But you need to recognise where it's talking about the grades they deserve. It's not just about what's gone before, it's what's to come. So please don't think at this time that now the exams aren't happening, it's time to take a step away from this and, and, and take pressure off and all the rest of it. Um, pressure, pressure, no pressure, yes pressure, stress, yes, no stress, wh wh whatever. We've all got different feelings on that front, but the job is not done. And I think that's really important. That word deserve doesn't just reflect the brilliant term you've just had, but it's also reflecting the terms that you've got ahead as well. So we've got to continue. We've got to be focused. We'll be closely working with the government and regulators to make this happy. Don't worry about that next paragraph. It doesn't involve any of you. But the last one there, I'll be back in touch as soon as I can. In the meantime, all the best to you and your colleagues, students, family, as we all adapt to these latest changes. Look, this isn't just about you. It's not just about our school, as we know. And often we feel that. We intensify things to that. But this includes all of those studying year 13 across the country, across the world, and all those in year 11 doing GCSE across the country, across the world that are studying these GCSEs, as well as other home nation exam boards, as well as other countries' own systems of examination too. You're not alone. Take strength from the fact that others are in this boat. That's something to be pleased about rather than worried from an internal perspective, just you. So if you think back to the summer when we got together um, after our holidays, uh, we, we sat there in the, in the big sixth form study room, uh, really excited about the year, and then I treated you all like babies, and I, and I told you about the story of the three pigs that we remember as kids. And we talked about the big bad wolf blowing down uh, the different houses that the pigs have put together. And in some respects, that's where we are. The big bad wolf has just blown our house over. Um, there are still some of those nine considerations to, to, to really consider. Uh, and I think there's four or five of them in particular. The first one, hard work, hard work pays off. I've kind of already touched on that. Um, we're only halfway through this job, only halfway through the year. Uh, the grade that you deserve, that you will get given, reflects on what's to come rather than what, what we've just been uh, through this last term. But plan strategically. We don't quite know how they're going to gather this information. Maybe it's more um, centre-assessed uh, work. 
mock exams maybe, certainly past paper questions, maybe it's more coursework. Whatever it be they're asking for us as evidence, you've got to strategically plan that into your working week. So that kind of work you're putting your all into and your heart into, so you're proving yourself for that deserved grade. Um, number four, I guess it could have happened to some of you already. You know, the, the cancellation of exams, some of you are going to be really upset about, and I completely and utterly understand that because I am for you too. But some of you might be quite happy that that level of stress has been removed from you and you feel that you might have a little bit more control. But you've got individual feelings on that and you can discuss them with your mentors. So your mentors are going to be in touch in the next few days, um, certainly to sort out the rest of the UCAS, uh, but also just to make sure where you're at, what you're doing, where your head's at, planning for the future. Your opinion, your perspective is really important on that and I know that each one of you are going to have a different perspective with regards to this news. Look, number seven, work hard now, reap the rewards later. Yeah, absolutely. You know, these are A-levels. I've told many of you that these are the, some of the toughest exams that you're going to be doing. You've certainly done so far. You're in the top 40% academically across the country just by doing A-levels. Um, you're still going to get an A-level grade. You're going to get grades. Therefore, there is work hard uh, attitude that's still required. And you will get your summer holiday and it will be the, one of the best summer holidays that you have. But be patient, patient for news about how we're going to be um, gathering the data together, about the process for giving you your grades. All of that stuff, as you can see from that letter, is in the pipeline. Be patient with it. When we know, you'll know. But I recognise at the moment, many of you might feel that we failed you, the systems failed you, and uh, that it's just not fair. And I want to just touch on that point because I understand where you're coming from on that. Um, but sometimes failure, sometimes when things don't go according to plan, it actually brings the best out of us. Uh, I've mentioned before Michael Jordan. I know he's quite an old chap now. Um, he's no longer playing his basketball, but he used to be one of the best basketball players that there were, certainly one of the highest grossing uh, sports stars of the time. I just want to share you uh, with you one of his adverts from Nike uh, back in the day. I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. So he says there, doesn't he, I've failed over and over again in my life. But that's the reason why I succeed. Because he realises actually that, that when things don't go according to plan, whether it's something that he's failed at or whether maybe in this situation somebody else may have, you feel, failed you. But actually, those are the times to be a bit resilient. Those are the times to try and dig a bit deeper, to find creative approaches to try and get around the issue, to be adaptive to what the scenario is that you come across. We still don't know what that future is for you, but it will come clear and I have no doubt the ability that you've built by having your years at the free school will mean that you will adapt and you will adapt quickly, sensibly and and you will do incredibly well over the next few months. But stick to it. We'll be in touch with you as mentors. We'll be walk, walking you through the rest of the UCAS process, going through mock exam results, then with your teachers and just putting your minds at rest that it's OK for these next few months. Take care. Good luck. Speak to you soon. Cheers.